The councils of the Godhead say this about the nation America. A nation of freedom, a nation of bondage, a nation of hope, a nation of despair, a nation of glory, a nation of disgrace, a nation of money, a nation of pride, a nation of people, a nation no more. Scatter its inhabitants, says the Lord. Remove its money, desecrate its pride, remove its crown, silence their voices, says the Lord. This month ends with disaster on both coasts. It's a month of unleashing, a month of change, a month of destruction, the month of the beginning of the end, says the Lord. And the month April, a month of sorrow, a month of prophecy of the things foretold to unfold, time no more. Woes to unfold in time foretold in the days of his message. The Lord highlights each month as follows. May, unlike any other month of May in history. June, the month to feel threatened, jealousy. July, the last Victory Day celebration. Here's a saying for the month of July. July is the time they lift on high. Victory Day. They say we are fine. Celebrate power of a time gone by. They look to a time when I walked by. Now this is the time I say bye. I no longer uphold you, America. August, summer's end. No more fruit on the trees, says the Lord. September, slaughter, the month of slaughter. October, currency collapse. November, death reigns over this nation. December, mourning and lamenting. Now behold God's perfect justice on an unrepentant nation. Now listen to this word of knowledge. Changes to the airline industry incredibly challenging. I'm seeing a person sitting on an airplane. Next, I see their arms, then their hands in front of them. They are tied together. Yes, their hands are tied in front of them. Changes to the airline industry. And from January the 25th of this year, the Lord spoke saying challenges for the transportation and airline industry. This remember, the trial of the ages begins. A new time begins, a time of trouble, a time of trouble and hardship such as never was since man. Get ready for a shift in the heavenlies, says the Lord. Three years of hardship. This year marks the close of the dispensation. That means February closes a dispensation. In March, foul weather patterns. Behold the flood rains. I am seeing the month of March as significant in God's timeline. Remember the word from January of this year? March, March, March. And from February, beware the Ides of March. Judgment starts, calamity coming. Behold the beginning of the end. Have I not spoken, says the Lord? Shall I justify my name? A flying scroll going across the land, smelting, famished, intensely hungry. Behold, I change the color of these things. Color changes, lightning. Wintry weather changes, dangerous. From the throne, lightning and hail, fire and blood, time no longer in the days of his message. 
Many will cry out to me in that day. Do you suppose their cries will be heard? What about the cries in Sodom? Were they heard on that day? And those in Noah's day? I tell you, there will be silence in heaven. Deflag America, says the Lord. Sit in silence, America. Lament and mourn. For you shall no longer be a voice to the nations, says the Lord.